don't think I'm over it yet. I, st- I still want Steeler football this weekend, man. I want them to be going to Baltimore to play the Ravens, and they're not. It's man. all done. It's all done. <laughs> I know. I know. We, we got to let it go. It is Mikey. It is Bob, the 96 One Kiss Morning Freak Show. I know we got to let it go. Listen, this is the first morning in almost a week we're not going to start the show by checking the pulse of Steeler Nation. It does feel and weird. Th- that's when it feels real right here. We've lost the pulse. Yes. Because oh, no. For, I feel like for the past four or five shows, we've been starting each show by checking the pulse of Steeler Nation, and it's gone from, woo, let's go, here we go, to, you know, sort of sadness that we've been getting the last couple days since they lost. The but, guy yesterday, I think, was just making noises at us. Uh, if, I rem- if I remember right. Yeah, 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 he was. Yeah, he was in, uh, he was in a bit of a spot. Ross, yeah. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Let's look at it this way. I guess we are checking the pulse of Steeler Nation here. Huh? Like laugh Let's rush. just be happy with what we got. Yeah. Rebuild. Rebuild. Not rebuild. Not rebuild. Just do what we got. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the love you guys. Yeah, it was it was that. It was There's the noise that. that you liked, right? Yeah. All right, that was the pulse of Steeler Nation yesterday. Uh, yeah. Somebody sound their death, deathbed making those noises. <laughs> that does sound like a deathbed final breath, like a death noise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just the season ending there. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, we do have some Steeler stuff to talk about today, though. But you know, it's it's sort of it's sort of over. Doesn't Tomlin talk today in yeah. the press conference? Yeah, Tomlin time. Yeah, hey, he's not gonna say much. I mean, what's he really gonna say or anything? He's not gonna. It, that's gonna be a dumb press conference. Why is he even having a press conference? People are gonna ask off-season questions, and he's just gonna be like, you know, we'll go back and reevaluate. We're not making any decisions right here. People are going to ask him about who's the offensive coordinator, who's your quarterback. He's yeah. going to talk all the way around. It's just, it's just going to be a bunch of questions, and then it'll be like, yeah, offseason and all that. But here's the thing about our show. Now that the Steelers' content is really drying up, and, you know, I mean, Penguins are sort of in the middle of the season. They're, listen, this is when we shine. This is when the shows get really weird. This is, yeah, this you're is right. when we talk about weird stuff and start doing weird segments on the show. This is our time now. <laughs> now, now that we've gone past the morning of Steeler season, it is our time to shine with weird content on the show. 961. Kiss. Mikey and Bob, it's the 96 One Kiss Morning Freak Show. We said the content on the show is probably going to get weirder and weirder now that Steelers season, you know, is officially uh, done. So many of you tagged us in the video of the tiger puking. This is from an account on X called A Life Without Us. It's a, it's a legit video of a tiger puking. Yeah. But the audio, and this is clearly dubbed over, right? It sounds like a human <laughs> threw up. <laughs> Too many beers, yeah. Dubbed absolutely. it over a tiger puking, because so many of you sent this to us. You ever seen a tiger puke? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not... The tiger's not going bad. Because right, the video is outside. It's, a, it's like a, It looks like a tiger at a zoo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, they, you can tell this is not an outside-sounding video. Like... <laughs> Like you can tell that's inside that's just from right. the audio. So, no, everybody, I appreciate that you think of us when you see an animal getting sick and throwing up because, you know, I mean, regardless, that's a funny noise. <laughs> but, no, I don't think that's a legit video of an actual tiger puking. I do like the first thing that pops in your head, does us. Yeah, a lot of people said it to us. I don't blame you because uh, <laughs> that's, you know, it's the content we like on our show. Uh, but... Our favorite animals throwing up is, of course, dogs. Uh, we have a whole file of uh, just TikTok videos of dogs <laughs> choking or getting sick or choking on water. You know, the first one is the pond water lady that just. Oh, my goodness. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The, uh, and a lot of times you'll hear on the show, like me clearing my throat or something, and Bob will ask, oh, my goodness, you all right? It's because of that clip. Mm-hmm. Here, here was another one that we uh, laughed at. Good boy. Oh. Yeah. You okay? Oh. All right. Yeah. You okay? Oh. 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 O
my god. See, this is what happens. <laughs> you, you all tag us in tiger puking videos, and then you get three dog videos. You'll be just down this path as a reward. All right, here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't think the tiger one is legit, though, but thank you to everybody who first thought of me and my friend Bob as soon as you saw a video of a tiger throwing up. Pay your bills on 96.1 KISS. I got him. I don't know. I got him good. I got him really good. Hey, it's cold out there today. Highs just going to the upper 20s, but it is coming overnight. The snow is on its way. The Friday morning commute is going to be brutal. Please stay home tomorrow if you can. The snow starts overnight. Except for us, too. Yeah. What are we doing, man? Are we doing show from home tomorrow? Or what are we Except doing? Are we busting out the old COVID radio equipment going for it? Uh, yeah, we we're supposed to get snow overnight tonight and then into Friday morning and most of Friday we could see two to six inches sort of depending on uh, where you are. It is not going to be a good morning commute tomorrow. And again, highs today just in the upper 20s, but we shouldn't see like a ton of snow or anything uh, today. Bob, uh, me and you, I think, here's the thing with us. We have been best friends, obviously, since we were younger, played Little League Baseball. We, we tell people all the time, it's bigger than just our show and our job for Bob. This dude is like absolute uh, family to me. He, he really is. I could talk for just hours and hours about how much this guy means to me, and we're, we're family. We are. But the problem is, is we're too comfortable with each other, and we're, we, we always forget that we're coworkers, and even though we're in a studio together, it's not just that we're coworkers. We're in like a work environment. Where I know it's a, it's a working office around us. <laughs> I There's know other people here. We forget about that because I just had my right butt cheek out during the show <laughs> in the studio here because uh, I cut I cut like the bottom part of my butt cheek right. It's sort of like upper upper thigh it's a good cut yeah yeah I, I cut it on a piece of glass in my garage right like my right butt cheek right mm -hmm. so i'm telling bob i gotta i gotta show him this right but i go over to his side <laughs> of the controls I'm like how did you cut you there's no way you cut your butt cheek and i was just like yeah he's like you didn't cut like not your foot because when you say step on i cut glass, myself on yeah. a piece of glass you would think all right stepped on a piece of glass no this was like i had a piece of glass and i was like I like bent down and like the corner of it hit me and yeah. So I have this, I have this gash on the, on my like right butt cheek, lower leg. I wanted to show it to Bob because that's what friends do, right? You, you, that's what you friends share do. your wounds. You do. So then I just totally forget that we're in a professional work environment and our studio has a little window on it where people can peek in, right? So anybody walking by. I mean, it's a good thing I decided to do the six o'clock hour butt cheek <laughs> showing because I'm over by Bob and I have like my pants. I have, uh, again, we've never seen each other naked. Okay, but we have seen each other's butt cheeks before, it's so this not, is a totally different thing. It's not the front. So I pull my pants down, like my right leg pants down to show Bob. And I had my right butt cheek out. No, my yeah. right butt cheek was cheek out. Cheek was fully out. And then Bob just commented like, oh, yeah, you got a pretty. It's pretty, like, wow, yeah, good scratch there. Good gash there. And then I came back, sat down, and just go. We gotta be better than this, man. Like, we can't just be going. We can't just like. I think I'd get in real trouble if somebody walks by and I'm just showing you an open butt cheek. And where the way the window's set up is like we don't know people are walking out there, where they're walking and they're approaching our studio. It's just kind of a little porthole window. All right, let's let's make a show rule from now on. No cheeks. No, no. I'm not saying that. I am not saying that. Okay. Any butt cheek showing has to be done before 7 a.m. New show <laughs> rule. <laughs> 96 one kiss. The Mikey and Bob podcast. Do you love watching videos on YouTube of hippos crushing watermelons yes. at zoos across yes. the country and the world, right? I find joy in it. Yes, I do. Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. Mikey and Bob, it's the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Coming up around 9 a.m. this morning, an announcement about this year's iHeartRadio Music Awards that we do every year. Uh, that's coming up around 9 a.m. today here on the Kiss Morning Freak Show. Bob, it looks like we've tracked down T.J. Watt laughing. 
<laughs> we brought that up yesterday. Yeah, there's a thing on the show where we were just like, have we ever heard T.J. Watt laugh? He is so serious at all times and somewhat of a football robot. This reminded me of when uh, we searched years ago for a shirtless picture of Phil Kessel, and that was not easy to find. Right, you had to really dig in. We found a grainy photo of him <laughs> on, like, a beach Random. when he played for Boston. Yep, like, yep. it was not an easy find. This one was a little easier, but we don't have a good, clear T.J. Watt belly laugh. But, again, we're idiots, so yesterday we threw out, have we ever really heard T.J. Watt laugh? Uh, our guy A.J. from Clearwater listening down in Florida sent this clip from earlier this year when T.J. Watt was in the locker room and was asked about the commercials that he did in the offseason. So listen, here's a, here's a T.J. Watt laugh. Got a couple commercials out there. Uh, you're, you're not a necessarily a gregarious guy. Uh, you hear it in there? You hear it in there? That a little was, giggle. That little was, giggle. That's not a real laugh, by the way, though. That's not. That's kind of a that's a T.J. Watt fake laugh. That's a I gimme. Like. Yeah, that, it that's, is. All right, let's hear it again. Got a couple commercials out there. Uh, you're, you're, you're not a necessarily a gregarious guy right, that's like a <laughs> that's tj watt fake laugh but this one i believe is a legit one this is from allison on instagram who <laughs> i don't know dug back into jj watt's instagram do some real investigative reporting here yeah this one's pre-pandemic this is january 2020 it looks like they're just in a living room this is jj watt he's gonna be the first voice you hear and then you're going to hear a TJ laugh in the background, too. Yeah. Look who's here. Look who's here. JJ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's right there. That's it. That's it. That's, That's the, the real TJ. one. They, at, at the end part right there, it's JJ laughing, but also TJ laughing. You can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> We found it. That's it. That's it. Down, that's just two brothers hanging out. That's it right there. That's what it is. All right, let's hear uh, TJ once again here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. I mean, we should start giving our listeners more assignments like right? this because it's just like, hey, we ever heard TJ Watt laugh? And yes, we have. On JJ Watt's Instagram back in January of 2020. When the world was a quite different place. All right, we got a chance for you to win $1,000 this morning. We want to try to pay your bills. That's coming up around 9, 10. It's the Kiss Morning Freak Show, Mikey and Bob. <laughs> 96 one Kiss. The Mikey and Bob Podcast. If we weren't doing this radio show and had to get a job together, we would both be senior care home exotic dancers. <laughs> Stream the Mikey and Bob Podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcast. <laughs> It's Mikey, it's Bob, the 96-1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. We said our show's going to get even weirder now that the Steelers are out and the Steelers' content's basically drying up. Let's get to this message. Good morning, boys. Up a little early listening to the show today. Yeah. Um, so you're thinking about how it's time for the weird yeah. content get weird. to be on the show now since the Steelers are gone. Um, guys. Yeah. This is just a show full of weird content. Right. And us weird Pittsburgh people are here for it. Let's go. All right. I, I, I don't know about that. Is our show full of weird content? I don't know. Let's uh, get to today in Freak Show history. This is where we take you back to a moment in the show that made us laugh, made us smile. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about people with... Uh, with extra nipples. So let's, yeah. All right. Today, Today is the history. Uh, Greg tweeted us here. Uh, Greg says, I got four nipples. I feel special. But having four nipples is more common than you think. Is it, Greg? I. <laughs> you don't have four nipples. Is that common? For people to have an extra nipple? Uh, maybe an extra. I don't know about... Look it up real quick. I want some stats on nipples. Okay, nipple stats. Uh, just look, you know, I want to see how common it is for somebody to have, I mean, even three or four nipples. Uh, third nipple or multiple nipples. Yeah, do you have like a percentage or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, well, maybe Greg is, uh, maybe Greg is in here. It's only estimated in about 200,000 Americans, it says. Okay, well, how many people are in America? I feel like doing the math on that. I feel like 200,000 Americans? 200, that's, what do you mean that's more than a lot? Like, I know there's like millions of people in this country, but you mean to tell me there are 200,000 people in the United States right now with an extra nipple? Yeah, it doesn't seem like that many, though. 
Dude, that's mind blowing to me. Two hundred thousand people have an extra nipple in this uh, country. United States population, uh, three hundred twenty-five million. Okay, three hundred twenty-five million is a lot of people. But two hundred. Well, like, like I'm not doing the math. If you're somebody do the math for me, right? Nipples, you're like a unicorn. How how many how many people is it again in America? Estimated two hundred thousand. I'm talking about how many oh, people 325 total. million. 325 million. Okay, so you have 325 million people. We're doing math here this morning. And then, what, 200,000? 200, 200,000 have an extra nipple. All right, somebody do the math. I'm horrible at math. What percentage of Americans have an extra nipple? 0. 0.06 of all Americans. So less than 1% of Americans have an extra nipple. Wow. Special. If you have if you have ex, uh, an extra nipple, if you have more than two nipples, you are a unicorn. BZ tweets here. I have a trip nip. Oh man, if I had an extra nipple, that's what I'd call it. If I just had one, the trip. Nip? I'd call it a trip nip. Yeah, absolutely. Triple nipple. Uh, four one two nine three seven nine six one zero is uh, our number here. Mikey and Bob, hello. Um, yeah, I was just calling about the third nipple. Yeah. And my my family. So it goes through my family. My grandfather had one. His sister, Virginia, had one. My brother, Bobby, had one, and my son has one. So you're telling me extra nipples are, like, hereditary, like they get passed down almost. Yeah, they they do. My mom has done our genealogy. She has it all the way back to the 1300s, and it just goes through your family, and it's traced back to um, through your lineage and royalty. They say that royalty had, only royalty had a third boob. <laughs> wow, a royal nipple. A royal nipple. I thought you guys would enjoy that. Well, congratulations on your family's extra nipples. Thank you. I appreciate it. I right, have a good one. You too. Bye bye. I mean, less than one percent of the population. You, you basically are royalty. You are royalty in America. It's the 961 Kiss Morning Free Show. Mikey and Bob try to uh, pay your bills this morning, give you $1,000, your chance at that, coming up around uh, 9, 10 this morning. You can send us messages through our free iHeartRadio app when you're streaming the station or the Mikey and Bob podcast. Let's hear from uh, our guy, AJ, down in Clearwater, Florida. What's up, Korean fried cheesy corn dog and moochie nut donuts? It's AJ from Clearwater. And <laughs> What were those <laughs> nicknames, AJ? I was just listening to today's podcast and... Talking about your listeners' nicknames. Yeah, you had a pretty pretty good couple ones there. Can you power rank your top five listeners' nicknames? Wow. Thanks. Love you, boys. All right, so top five listener nicknames that we've ever gotten on the show. I don't know. You think we can uh, pull this off here, Big List? Big List! Big List! Big List! Mikey and Bob on 961 Kiss. Uh, top five listener nicknames that you have uh, given us over the years. Number five. Good morning, Slim Shady and Notorious B.O.B. <laughs> Slim Shady and the Notorious B.O.B. at five. Good. Number four. Good morning, Micah Tron and Bob to Miss Prime. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Transformer nicknames there, <laughs> Micatron and Bobtimus Prime, our third favorite listener nickname. Beep, 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 beep. Listen, they don't have to be super complicated or anything Simple. like that. Take the first letter of each of our names, Mikey and Bob. Hey, meep, meep, and beep, beep. We look like meep, meep, and beep, beep. We do. We do. We do. I can't explain it, but we look like meep, 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 and beep, beep. Uh, number two, best listener nicknames. Holy Schnikey Mikey and Corn on the Bob. Good. That's yeah. top tier yeah. right there. Yeah. Holy Schnikey Mikey and Corn, Corn on, on the, the Bob. Bob. Not number one, though. Uh, this is probably the best listener nickname we've ever gotten. Love this one. What's up, Mike's on Bikes and Bobble Till You Wobble? That's good right there. Yeah. Mike's on Bikes. Huh. Boom, boom. Yeah. Woo. Let go, let go. Mike's on Bikes. And bobble till you wobble. Uh, number one listener nickname uh, we feel like you've ever given us. But I don't know. There's some good ones in there. And there is something great about the simplicity of us being called Meep Meep and Beep yep. that I sort of like. Somebody too. good one. That is it, Ron Kiss. The Mikey and Bob. Ron Kiss. Anybody answer you? No. No? No answer? No. All right. Well, still a mystery. Why it smells like sausage here and only Bob can smell it. Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, they used to be. 
young. It's the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Mikey and Bob, the nominees for this year's iHeartRadio Music Awards. That announcement coming up at 9 a.m. this morning. Uh, it's cold out again today. Highs in the upper 20s. But really, it's just prepare for the snow. Because that is coming overnight tonight into Friday morning, into Friday afternoon and evening. Uh, the morning commute tomorrow is going to be bad. It's going to be treacherous mm. from what they are saying. So if you can't, um, like, drive to work, don't. Like, if you don't have to, right. don't. Like, if there's no reason to be out tomorrow. It should be pretty nasty. It's, yeah, there's going to be school closures, two-hour delays, all that. I think there's probably going to be more school closures that happen. Like, this is the sort of mm. snow that it feels like tonight a lot of schools will just call Friday off or do some remote learning. So obviously pay attention to that as we have a, a winter blast of snow coming uh, tomorrow. And uh, Friday should be pretty sketchy out there on the roads. All right, Bob, time to check in with the Pittsburgh police scanner account. You can follow them on uh, Instagram, PGH Scanner. Really, it's just two people who listen to the Pittsburgh police scanner and simply report on what is being called in. So let's get to what is happening in and around our neighborhoods. Here we go. South side near the dog park. Caller is stating that someone is driving their car on the bike path and walking their Pomeranian by holding onto the leash out the window. This person is a genius, right? Like, until you run over your dog. I'm just gonna. So, wait, they're driving their car on the bike path. The dog needs to walk, I guess. And they're walking a tiny Pomeranian out with the leash out the window. So, I mean, they're going at a slow speed. It's not like they're going 20 miles an hour or something. Just pop dogs, ready, keep up. Got to get their exercise in. Yeah, you're right, though. Uh, the possibility that you could run over your dog is probably why that's not a great idea. Also happening in and around our city, Glenwood. Mm. Two people are fighting mm. with their windows down over stolen property. Caller believes... They are self-limiting to remaining inside their cars because it is too cold to fight outside. We're walking dogs inside the cars. This city, man. We're fighting inside cars. What is that? Just two people. They're fighting with their windows down over stolen property. <laughs> What's the wind chill out there? I ain't getting out. And by the way, who calls the cops on that? Just let them yell at each <laughs> other from inside their cars. We, ah, they might get out at some no, I ain't getting out. Too cold <laughs> to throw down in Pittsburgh. All right, we got a chance for you to win a thousand dollars. Try to pay your bills. That's coming up around nine ten on the Kiss Morning Freak Show. It's Mikey and Bob. Mikey and Bob, it's the ninety six one Kiss Morning Freak Show. If you miss any of the live show, you can get caught up with our Mikey and Bob podcast on the free iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast. Uh, and on the iHeartRadio app, it means people can listen from all over the country and all over the world. We have a wonderful listener in Italy. Uh, Ellie is originally from Pittsburgh, but is in Italy now. Send us this message. Hi, Mikey and Big Bob. This is your friend Ellie from Italy, your poop friend. Oh, uh, yeah, she's got good poop stories, too. Poop so that's friend. why she's. Yes, I mean, I we know her as, as Italy, Ellie, but like, yeah, she's got good poop stories, too. Do you guys sleep with anything when you go to bed? Not just like your wife. Do you have like a pillow or some kind of blanket? I think, Mikey, you have like the gravity blanket. Yeah, I like the weighted blanket. Yeah, I don't use that that much. The weighted blanket's not for not for sleeping at night. That's a sit on the couch, watch TV, weighted blanket type of thing. Um, because I have this stuffed Pomeranian that my friend gave me 10 years ago before moving to Italy. Wow. She has this wonderful Pomeranian and Penny. And so now I sleep with this dog. I sleep with this little, like, stuffed dog. I've been sleeping with it every night for the past 10 years. It's just comfortable. It makes me happy. It's, like, the perfect size. But the maybe, like, awkward, weird part is I'm, like, 36 years old, and I'm sleeping with, like, a stuffed animal. Yeah. I tell you, man, like, if I don't have it, it feels weird. Yep. I mean, I don't take it, like, on vacation with me, but 
I do not like to have this stuff stuffed dog. Okay, I uh, I don't sleep with anything like that. I don't have like a special stuffed animal or anything like that. I uh, no, I don't even have like a go-to blanket really. I sleep with a lot of blankets, man. Do you? Yeah, a ton of blankets. I'm a big blanket guy. Sweaty. Yeah, I like. Uh. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the room cold, but tons of blankets. One blanket. That's how I like to sleep. One, one blanket. One that's blanket Not person. even like a down blanket, like thin. Wow. wow. Yeah, one blanket. Me and my wife have separate blankets. Okay. Yeah. Some marriage advice there. Yeah, you got to do that. separate blankets. Uh, yes. Nobody man. steals the blanket. You're not struggling in the middle of the night. You get yeah. better sleep. It's no big deal. Uh, me and my wife don't even sleep in the same room, so <laughs> there's some other marriage advice, too. Like, Depending on what time I go to bed, yeah. Listen, yeah. Th there is no rule that says when you're married, you got to sleep in the same bed because there are different things that, like, my if, if one of us is snoring, it throws things off. Like, we go to bed at different times. There's not, nothing wrong with sleeping in, in separate beds, but I do not have an item, but in our house, we have Bear Bear. Let me tell you, Bear Bear. Bear Bear has been a part of our family. Bear Bear. For longer than our actual daughter, Addison. Bear Bear was my wife Jamie's stuffed teddy bear when she was growing up. Where's Bear Bear live? Bear Bear is still with us. Bear Bear is on the couch. Bear, oh, like in the living room. Yeah, Bear Bear is on our living room couch. And even though Ellie from Italy said, like, her... I thought you had Bear Bear propped up in the bedroom just watching. <sighs> man, come on. Man, why has always got to be a thing with you, man? Can't even get through a nice Bear Bear conversation. <laughs> Don't look at Bear Bear. Man, come on. <laughs> Turn Bear Bear around. I don't want to see this. <laughs> don't let him see it. <laughs> Bear Bear. <laughs> It's adult time, Bear Bear, turn around. See, me and my wife don't sleep in the same bed together, but, like, Bear Bear knows what you do. Bear Bear has a mask that we put on. <laughs> what a sweet mask to put on her face. Hey, it's, uh... <laughs> with us too oh wow yeah i know ellie said that uh the pomeran the stuff pomeranian doesn't oh, go on man. vacation with her i don't know does everybody else have a bear bear like that that is just bear bear goes on vacation because my wife like can't sleep really yeah, without I don't, bear bear i don't have a bear bear i just have a cpap machine <laughs> <laughs> my special nighttime like put on my mask you want to talk about a party in the bedroom, bro? Huh? <laughs> you have a party until you got the mask on. I'm wearing some sexy underwear for you, but hold on. Show me to put my mask on. <laughs> Cover your bear eyes. Bear Bear, turn around. Cover your eyes, Bear Bear. <laughs> and you know what? Bane's here, Bear Bear. <laughs> hey, Bear Bear. Bane's made her in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> right, wait, hold on. Are me and you in the same bedroom at this point? Because all of a sudden I hear a CPAP machine and also Bear Bear's in the corner. Hey, Bear Bear, you might want to plug your nose, too. It's going to get stinky in here. 961 Kiss. The Mikey and Bob podcast. Mikey and Bob, it's the 961 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Find out the nominees and the details for this year's iHeartRadio Music Awards. The announcement coming up around 9 a.m. this morning. All right, Bob, I think we've uh, I think we've gotten into something here because we were just talking about how uh, uh, my my wife her uh, her like childhood teddy bear 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 is still with us goes on vacation with us sleeps with her in in everything and um, we were wondering you know do other people sleep with something that brings them uh, comfort Let's get to this message. Hi, Mikey and Bob. So my husband and I actually both sleep with like a stuffed animal he used to sleep with a pillow and then i got him a stuffed animal and he switched over to that okay wait hold on <laughs> hold on you used to sleep with a pillow 
I guess like arm around a pillow. Maybe like something like extra that. Extra pillows in the bed because Maybe I don't a feel pillow. I don't feel like a stuffed animal is the pillow. I feel like the stuffed animal's just in the bed. You're not using the stuffed animal as your main right, pillow. Right, right, yeah, think. yeah. I don't know. Um, but we have an owl named Gwen. Oh, Gwen the owl. Gwen the owl. And a cat named Lucky Cat. Okay, so it's Gwen and Lucky Cat. Um, and they usually stay in the bed. Oh, yeah, that's what you think. They've seen it all. <laughs> Gwen, and, <laughs> Gwen and Lucky Cat. All right, let's hear from uh, Lizzie from West Mifflin here. Good morning, Mikey and Bob. Lizzie from West Mifflin. There she is. Um, I just want to go along with your things about sleeping in separate beds. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Me and my wife don't sleep in the, in, in the same bed. Uh, me and my fiancé, we sleep in separate beds. Yeah. She says I give off too much radiation when I sleep. <laughs> and I snore. Wait. Oh, he snores too. Yeah, okay. So yeah, it is nice because then you're not yeah. up there behind 24/7. Yeah, some people want to be up the behind 24/7. Love I'm, you guys. I'm, I'm saying like radiation's code for farts, right? <laughs> it is. Like, it is. It's gotta be. <laughs> All that radiation last night, honey. Dude, we gotta sleep. We gotta sleep separate. <laughs> Why? Too much radiation. Your radiation. <laughs> That's, you're right. It's code for farts. It's got to be code for farts. You can send us messages <laughs> through the free iHeartRadio app. Click that talk back microphone. <laughs> it's the Kiss Morning Free Show. Mikey and Bob. What it is, oh. That is Taylor Swift. Is it over now? It's Mikey. It's Bob. The 96.1 Kiss Morning Free Show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, boy. You hear that? Yeah. You know what that means? <laughs> You do know what that music means, uh -huh. right? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to milk, 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 milk the Steelers content. Milk, 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 milk the Steelers content. The season is over. We're milking. But the coverage doesn't stop. We're milking this Steelers content this offseason. Deontay Johnson, Steelers wide receiver, quoted as saying, I've been on the Mason plane. <laughs> milk, 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 milk the Steelers contact. Deontay Johnson said, I've been on the Mason plane, so it wasn't nothing I wasn't expecting for him not to do. I kind of had high hopes of him doing what he's been doing when he became the starter. Now, here's the part of Deontay Johnson's quote that's got a lot of people saying, whoa, here comes the juice. Whoa. Hey, here comes the milk. Mm. Deontay Johnson said about Mason Rudolph, I hope he gets the job next year and do what he's got to do. But he did a great job, in my opinion. Oh, oh. milk, milk. Milk, 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 the Steelers got content. Milk, 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 the Steelers got Deontay Johnson said he's been on the Mason plane before. Did he mean train, by the way? I don't know, man. Maybe Mason Rudolph is only in the sky, baby. Wow. Fly high, Mason. Fly high. Maybe there's a Kenny Pickett train. Maybe there's a sad Mitch Trubisky bike. And there's a Mason plane. Mason plane. Like a fighter jet up. There, Top Gun. Got Deontay Johnson on it. Wow. Don't talk about free agency yet, or? Ooh. No, no, it's, no, it's too far. What a team. Uh, no, it's you too sure? Far. No, free. No, we got time. To talk Ooh. About free you want know, to talk about the people that uh, are unrestricted free agents? Oh. You know what I'm oh. There's nobody that's a full season, full time starter on offense or defense that's going to be a restricted free agent, which is probably good and bad. But some of the names. That could leave mm. special teams captain, pro bowler, Miles Killebrew. Oh, man. Defensive tackle, Montrevious Adams. Man. 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 Back, Levi Wallace. Oh. And Mason Rudolph. Oh. Ah. Ah. But, but Deontay's on the Mason plane. Ah. Mason Rudolph gonna cost a lot of money now. No, he's not gonna. Oh man, he's gonna. 
Oh, man, you're going to cost a lot of Wait, money. Wait, Mitch is still signed, right? Yeah, we still got Mitch for one year, but I think we can just, yeah. There's going to be a lot of players that, whatever they paid Mitch, I'm guessing Mason's price starts there. Uh, it's probably more. It's probably yeah, more. you're probably right. There's a bunch of veterans that are due roster bonuses Ooh. in late March. Oh. Ogan Joby's due just under $5 million. What's that feel like? That's got to be awesome. Chooks is due four million in late March. Deontay's due three million. Pat Pete three million. Mason Cole one point five, and Trubisky's due a million dollars in late March. Just some roster bonuses there. Oh man, listen. When we're telling you what the roster bonuses are we're coming up in late March, squeezing ooh. hard to get that milk out. There's not much left. Tugging. There's not we're much tugging. left. Tugging. Tugging uh, away. Bye, 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 bye. Season, we milk the Steelers content for all it's worth. Mikey and Bob podcast. My friend's cousin. That person is a made up person, <laughs> does not exist. Any statement that starts with my friend's cousin is absolutely going to be a lie. Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. It's the 96 1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, Mikey and Bob, the lady who uh, gave us the nicknames Meep Meep and Beep Beep has a message. Hey guys, it's We Made No Calm here. I was just listening to the power ranking. I was so excited because I was number three with Meep Meep and Beep Beep. Yeah, we like we like those <laughs> nicknames for us, Meep Meep and Beep Beep. And I don't even remember you airing that. Neither do, neither do we. Neither do or we. Or what I even talked about. Yeah, neither do we. But you know what? I just... I just feel so close to you guys right now. Oh. I just really made my morning. God. And, uh, you know, yeah. I love you. Look at that. That's nice. Nice message. Glad it, uh, glad it made your morning there. All right, let's get to some other messages here. Uh, we were talking about how uh, my wife, Jamie, still has her, like, childhood teddy bear called Bear Bear. Mm-hmm. And now me and, uh, me and Jamie, we sleep in separate beds, right? So, like, Bear Bear sleeps with her. Yeah. But Bear Bear goes on vacation with us and everything. Bear Bear's been around since, obviously, I've known my wife. Hey, guys. I just wanted to say good morning. And thank you for getting me through most of my mornings for the last probably 20 years. Hell yeah. Um, But, Mikey, when you're talking about this bear, you have to check out the new movie, Imaginary, that's coming out. Oh, no. Because that's literally all I can think about when you're talking about this teddy bear. I want it. Definitely check it out. Have a good day, guys. No. All I need to see, you see the trailer for that imaginary movie? No. Yeah. No. It's basically like Teddy Bear Comes to Life, but it's a horror movie. From oh. the producer of Five Nights at Freddy's and Megan. A woman returns to her childhood home to discover that the imaginary friend she left behind is very real and unhappy that she abandoned him. Oh. I don't need to see this. It looks like a teddy bear, though. Uh, teddy Bear's name is Cha- Chauncey? <laughs> no, thank you. Says... Meet Chauncey. He's not imaginary. He's not your friend. Oh, hell no. I don't want to watch that movie. All right, let's get to another message. No bear, bear. No bear, bear. Good morning, Mikey and Bob. It's Sarah, the one with the goat. All right, Sarah with the goat. <laughs> I was listening to you guys talk about sleeping with um, movies and separate beds and stuff. Yeah. My husband sleep talks and sleepwalks, and one night he was sleep talking, and he asked me where they all went, and I was like, what? I was like, where'd who go? And he was like, where did all the other people who live here go? And I was like, nope. I, uh-uh. I was like, we're moving. <laughs> yeah. Love you guys. Bye. See, my wife Jamie does that too. Sometimes. She talks? Yeah, she'll, like, if she falls asleep on the couch uh-huh. sometime or if she's in a good deep sleep on the couch, and, like, there is sometimes where I will hear her talking. Now, there are times, obviously, me and my wife do sleep in the same bed together, right? And there are times where she will wake up in the middle of the night and say something to me that makes no sense whatsoever. She's done it plenty of times before. And it just makes no sense. And then I'd be like, what are you talking about? Wait, what did you say? What are you talking about? Anything creepy like that? Like, where are all the people that lived no, here? No, no, I'd be like, not no, so much. We're no, good. Nobody. No. It's us. No, no, not, not so much anything like that. It's, it's more sort of nonsensical babble or something like that. I think one time she was talking about AR-15s or AK-47s or something, which that probably isn't great either that she's talking about assault rifles. But it, I think it had to do with, like, uh, I mean, she was talking about something, and she brought out, like, assault assault, assault weapons. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just, I just 
fart. I just fart in the middle of the night. I probably should have kept that part to myself. Like, yeah, my wife wakes up in the middle of the night and just starts talking to me about assault rifles and stuff. She wakes up and just yells, AR-15! AR-15! <laughs> that's the only... I mean, she's done this before where she's talked in her sleep, but that's the one I specifically remember because... She named a specific, like, assault rifle or something. Uh, let's hear from Dawn from Trafford. Good morning, Mike and Big Bob. This is Dawn from Trafford. There she is. Um, calling about sleeping in separate beds also. My husband and I also sleep in separate beds. Okay. It started um, when I got injured about three years ago, and then we realized that we both sleep much better um, separately. Yeah, I think that's what a lot of people, you know, it might not be when you first get together, if you're first, you know, moving it together, you're first married but i think There's some people the nice about being able to stretch out in the bed over the course of their relationship they just feel like they sleep better in a separate bed than their significant other ain't no big deal um that doesn't stop us from you know having fun oh, together oh, come on <laughs> no no dawn from trapper no we let the teddy bear watch no, and then it. my husband goes back to his room <laughs> pay your bills on 961 kiss it's cold out again highs today just going to the upper 20s but really it is going to be messy tomorrow friday morning for the friday commute overnight into the morning commute into uh friday afternoon and evening we're supposed to get like two to six inches of snow it's going to really come down during the morning commute slop it up uh, excuse me. If you can stay home, please stay home tomorrow because roads are supposed to be uh, pretty bad. Uh, there's always people getting naked, making the news, and then making our show. It is time for a naked story. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. So excited to get naked. It's time for another naked story on the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show with Mikey and Big Bad. Uh, this happened in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, other side of the state. Guys facing charges after police say he jumped through his neighbor's window while he was naked. Through the window? Yeah, he jumped through the window. So, like, trying to get into his neighbor's house, can't get in. Let me jump through the window, but he was also naked. Uh, police say the 27-year-old naked man was outside of his neighbor's house, then got a running start. That's aggressive. A running start. Jumped through the window, shattered the glass, and then got inside the home, all while naked. Coming in hot. Jumping through a glass window while naked, very dangerous. Maybe he, was he high? Uh, you say Can uh, you get high enough where you think you're the Kool-Aid man? Fully. <laughs> Do you think that's what it was? Coming through the wall? He went through the window, yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what it was. Police say the man uh, may have been glass and stuff coming have, through naked. May have been under the influence of a substance is, is what they say. It's like a, it's like a, uh, you ever see the tumblers? I don't know, like a Vegas show or something like that? Like, I don't feel like normal people like jump through the, the windows like one that. One of the Cirque shows? Yeah, like, that's to jump off the ground and then, like, through a window? <laughs> it's a lot. Like, you gotta be pretty, you gotta be in some pretty good shape to do that, I feel like. Jump through a window like that. Or good running drugs. start. Yeah, yeah good, good drugs, drugs, too. Good drugs could, be drugs, too. Could, could be drugs, too. Could, I'm, like, trying to explain, like, that's a pretty good move right there. Like, he's jumping off the ground and going through a window? Like, wow, he should be in a Vegas show. And then I'm just like, oh, no, it's, it's drugs. Drugs will make you do that. Like, did he just pop up, too, after rolling through the window? Whoa. I feel like that would sober me up real quick. Just like, oh, wow. Jump through a window naked. Whoops a day. Excuse me, I'm your neighbor. You got any butter? <laughs> not, <laughs> it's not the right way to ask for butter. Coming through a hot board. It's not. Uh, so yeah, I, maple syrup. I'm looking to drizzle my body. <laughs> I need some sugar <laughs> for right down here. Uh, he gets arrested, hit with multiple charges, including burglary and indecent exposure. It is a naked person making the show once again. 96.1 Kiss. Mikey and Bob, it's the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. We work for iHeartRadio, so coming up in just a couple minutes, uh, the announcement for this year's iHeartRadio Music Awards. The details you're going to need. All the big uh, artists that are nominated, that is coming up in just a couple minutes here. And then also around 9, 10, we're going to have your uh, keyword 
to try to uh, pay your bills. You could be winning a thousand dollars by entering a nationwide keyword on our website. That's coming up in about 10 minutes here on the kiss morning freak show. Uh, Bob Adam Schefter from ESPN uh, just put out this morning. Who is doing all the songs before the Super Bowl in Vegas? This Ooh. Year. So uh, lift every voice and sing is going to be performed by Andrew day. Okay. Uh, guess who's doing America the beautiful. I'm, uh, I'm going to give you, this is, uh, it's a very popular mainstream artist. We play this artist a lot on wow, our station. Really? Doing America the Beautiful. It's a man. A man. A man. Very popular now. Play a lot of his music on the station. Jelly Roll? No. We only play one Jelly Roll song on the station, I believe. This one, this guy's, this guy's got some songs. Like the last decade? This dude is the last decade. The, the last decade, this dude is at. I'll give you. I mean, you're close with Jelly Roll in the tattoos that Jelly Roll has. Post Malone? It's Post Malone. Wow. He's going to be singing America the Beautiful at the Super Bowl Whoa, in Vegas. Posty. Well, Posty. Posty's going to kill that, by the oh, way. Oh, it's going to be great. People are going to be like, oh, my God. Everybody's going to be like, he can, oh, man. he's really good. Plus, Malone can actually sing. Man. Right. Oh, wow. Man. Yeah. It's like how people on the internet found out T-Pain can actually sing right. without, right. without auto-tune. They're like, oh, my God. Right. It's a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, national anthem, though. This is the one where people gamble on, and it's always a big deal who's going to do. Like, in the hierarchy of Super Bowl performances, you want to do the halftime show. Yeah, but then, like, I think the next thing, anthem. if you're performing, mm -hmm. is the national anthem. It's a woman. <sighs> Kelly Clarkson? Ooh, that's a good guess. It's not Kelly Clarkson, though, but I would say, all right, it, she's 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 older than Kelly Clarkson. Older than Kelly Clarkson. Everybody loves this woman. Everybody loves her? Zero people are going to have, a, yes. This is one of those, like, celebrity people... Yeah. That you put off to the side and you just go, everyone loves this person. This person must be protected at all costs. Dolly Parton. Oh, you are close with Dolly Parton. You are close with Dolly Parton. Now, the genre of music, Dolly Parton, the country, that's that's where you're at. That's your lane. Right? We're getting a country artist. You're, you're gonna get, there's a country artist who's going to be singing the national anthem. That everybody loves. Everybody loves Shania Twain. No, 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 <laughs> man. I don't know. Yeah, you, you'll get it. You got it. You got it. Country artist woman. Yeah. Carrie Underwood. No, mm. no. Wouldn't say everybody loves Carrie Underwood. Nope. Everyone loves this my woman. head. Miranda Lambert had her own TV show. Had her own TV show. now and did you see this Reba? no I, I missed it oh it was, it's such a secret when somebody uh you know announces who's singing the anthem of the super bowl no no it's never a big deal nobody i saw it okay unleash the reba i know i'm gonna be tagged in it for like the next couple days but that's pretty cool reba mcintyre is gonna be doing the national anthem uh this year at the super bowl all right here's the announcement of who is part of our iHeartRadio music awards this year who the nominees are all the info you need and in about 10 minutes your chance at a thousand dollars here we go I heart, are you ready? our 2024 iHeartRadio music awards are coming to fox live from los angeles monday april 1st we'll celebrate the music that was our soundtrack over the past year. And the biggest stars from all genres of music will go home winners. Yeah! Among the artists with the most nominations. Sure. Taylor Swift. Jelly Roll. 21 Savage. Foo Fighters. Olivia Rodrigo. Shakira. Morgan Wallen. Beyonce. Fall Out Boy. Miley Cyrus. Blue Combs. SZA. Paramore. Peso Bluma. Drake. And there are so many more. Once again this year, you, the iHeartRadio listener, will help decide who 
win. Both for categories like Best Lyrics, Best Music Video, and Best Fan Army. See all the nominees and vote for your favorites now at iArtRadio.com slash award. I hope they your music awards. chance to win a thousand dollars we want to try to pay your bills that is coming up in just a couple minutes we'll give you that nationwide keyword to simply enter on our website 961kiss.com so that's coming up uh right now though let's go to another person who wants to share their worst birthday ever uh this is a thing we've sort of been floating out randomly for a couple shows now i don't even know how this got started because me and Bob usually have good birthdays. Bob is a New Year's baby, so his birthday's January 1st. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm September 3rd, so usually I got Labor Day weekend locked down. So we both got some pretty solid birthdays there where it's almost a holiday already, which makes the birthday even better. But we've had people tell us about, you know, some of their worst birthday party experiences. Uh, some guy earlier this week said... That his dad got the White Ranger from Power Rangers to show up, <laughs> yep. but showed up a couple hours late, smoked weed in his grandma's room, I believe it was. <laughs> the White Ranger was high. And then his dad tried to fight the White Ranger, so let's get to this bad birthday. Hi, Mikey and Mom. I'm a bit behind on the podcast, but I wanted to share what my worst birthday was. Yep. So when I was in first grade, I had a roller skating party. I took a pretty hard fall, Uh, cried a lot, was still able to open my presents. Yeah. Not even a half hour later, I fell again. Listen, roller skating parties, I was never a fan of roller skating parties. I remember when I was a kid, like, I was probably in second grade. You remember Nate Provost, Bob? Yeah. Because you remember? Because me and Bob grew up together Mm -hmm. Wednesday. I went to Nate Provost's birthday party in, like, second grade. It was at a skating rink. And I kept telling my parents, I'm like, I don't want to go. And they're like, Nate's one of your best friends. You got to go to his birthday party. I'm like, I don't want to go to a roller skating party, though. And I'm like, I'm not going to skate. And they're like, no, no, skate, skate. You'll like it. You got to try it. And sure, new experiences, right? I don't know what was wrong with me as a kid. I put these skates on, Mm -hmm. did not even attempt to skate. I went to (laughs) the kitty park. Because they have two rinks, uh, right? Yeah, they yeah. got the big rink where everybody's zooming around and whatever. Then kids just hang on the side of the little rink. This place had the little kitty rink uh, where kids hang on to the side. I put on my skates. I went into the kitty rink, and I sat there with my arms on the ledge and just watched people skate for the entire birthday party. Didn't even skate. All right, let's get to the rest of our message. I was crying so much that I couldn't even eat my own cake. Oh, no, oh, no. Fell twice at her birthday party, skating rink. I would have still ate the cake. Yeah, right. Through the tears. Turns out I broke my arm. Oh, okay, she's oh, got a broken no. arm. She's got a broken arm. Still, I right. still would have ate the cake. So- <laughs> got to power through the cake. <laughs> this is this is your version of playing through pain, yeah, playing yeah. hurt, right? Yeah, like there's so many examples of professional athletes Cakes on the table. You know, <laughs> got to get there. <laughs> Think of a guy like Cam Hayward, yeah, who was injured this year, but basically, you know, is telling you after the season, I have been hurt since training camp. Every week this year. I was hurt. I came back earlier than I was supposed to. I put the 12 week recovery into a six week recovery. Like it is amazing what athletes can do and what they go through and what they play through. And Bob is sitting here telling everybody that if you, if you were that little kid, broken limbs, whatever, you got to get to that cake. All right. Here's your chance. Eat through the tears. <laughs> It's like that meme of that girl, like, doing the dance, but she's crying, too. Like, uh, it's like you at a birthday party, just, uh, your art. You oh, got- no, my, my, my big ass would have never been on skates. So I, <laughs> to no one's surprise, I was, not a, I was not a skater as a kid. All right, here's your chance to win $1,000. Good luck. Pay your bills. Mikey, it is Bob, the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, Bob, yesterday we were mentioning that it was James Earl Jones's, like, I don't know, he's like 93 yesterday or something like that. But he was trending, and then, you know, we got nervous. We saw he was trending, and anytime somebody that old starts trending, you think, oh, oh, God, 
Is it time? You just assume, yeah. No, uh, James Earl Jones, very alive, and it's his birthday. Uh, he, of course, did the voice of Darth Vader, but hold on. Let's hear from our guy, George, here. Hey, what's going on, fellas? George here, still catching up on Wednesday's podcast. Yeah. A little bit of trivia for you, Bob. Just to let you know, a guy named David Prowse was in the suit for Darth Vader. Yeah. Now, Mikey, obviously, I'm also a Star Wars fan, yeah. but don't forget, James Earl Jones was also the voice of Mufasa. Yeah. All right, y'all take it easy. He was. James Earl Jones is the voice of Darth Vader and also the voice of uh, Mufasa. But hold on, George isn't done. Hey, what's going on, fellas? It's George here. Uh, this is an addendum to my previous comment about the... Uh, yeah actor david prowse playing darth vader yeah uh yesterday on the show we were bob was asking like is james earl jones in the darth vader suit and i'm like no he's just the voice of darth vader there's a different actor that's that's in the suit i did not know that the face behind the unmasked vader was yeah, sebastian different, shaw different guy but in the original what? trilogy the yeah. guy in the suit the whole time yeah. was david prowse y'all taught me something all right y'all take it easy so there's basically like three darth vaders there's a guy who's who's in the suit originally, who's doing all the moving around and, and acting. Was he too good-looking? That's David Prowse. Was he, was that the problem? Was he, like, the good-looking dude? I don't know. As opposed to well, the, the monster they put in the Vader suit? Because when you see the actor Sebastian Shaw in the Darth Vader sort of death scene yeah. where they unmask him, yeah, you he's an me older, yesterday. bald guy, yeah, his yeah. face is all white. It's got, no, I just think they needed an older face for, like, old older Vader. And I think probably the other actor, David Prowse, who was in the suit. So it's like there's an actor in the suit. There's a separate actor for the death unmasking scene. And then James Earl Jones is just doing the uh, doing the voice. Hold on. Another message from George. Hey, what's going on, fellas? George here. Still catching up on Wednesday's podcast. I love I love George, man. I love it. I just listened to the section where the guy was talking about the uh, many nicknames he could do for y'all in 30 seconds. Yeah, we had, a, we, had a, we, we had a good run with nicknames yesterday on the show. There was a guy who did uh, as many nicknames for us as possible in 30 seconds. He was just coming up with them. Hey, it got me thinking the Star Wars theme. How about a lightsaber and thermal detonator? Oh, man. That was for you, Mike. That's good. No, All right, I'll take it easy. That's good. Light, lightsaber, light of course, saber long. and thermal detonator. Yeah, you'd be a thermal detonator. Trust me. I just, I, I Googled the uh, David Prowse guy to see if he was good looking. Yeah. He has eyes that are wild as hell. They're moving in all different directions. Oh, okay, wait. <laughs> so are yours. You have a lazy eye, I'm too. I'm not saying that. I didn't say anything about my eyes. I'm not in the Vader costume. <laughs> Is that what you were laughing at? Yeah. Because you, you think they didn't put him in the Vader costume because when they took the helmet off, his eyes would be going in different directions? <laughs> You mean to tell me that the guy in the Darth Vader suit, if they would have unmasked him, he would be like, ah, uh, like his I, googly eyes. Yeah. Eye, one be looking this way, one be looking the other way. Like, oh, man. What's up with Vader's eyes? Vader's just walking into walls and stuff. How do you lightsaber fight so good with eyes like that? <laughs> why did you why did you look at a picture of this that, guy i thought maybe he was too good looking to be okay yeah. unmasked vader you know okay <laughs> and now you realize that he's got wonky <laughs> eyes like the eyes are all over the place hey put the guy with the weird eyes in the vader suit vader saw everything with those eyes yeah, man but what, so if, what, what are we gonna do when he dies and we gotta take the helmet off we'll get a separate guy for that we can't have wonky eye guy in the vader suit when he dies <laughs> Pay your bills on 961 Kiss. Mikey and Bob, it's the 961 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, today highs in the upper 20s. Today's not the bad day, though, because the snow's coming overnight into tomorrow morning commute, into tomorrow afternoon and evening. It's supposed to get like, I don't know, anywhere from two to six inches of snow. Uh, so listen, if you just get two inches of snow, be like, what was that all about? Where's Everybody all this, we were gonna get big snow. Where's all the snow at? And then if you like get more mountain area, you know, you might get six inches and it might just be like, oh, I thought we were always supposed to get two. So that's why it's like, you know. And roads are gonna be sloppy either way. Uh, yeah, Friday morning commute is definitely going to suck tomorrow. If you can work remotely or stay home, uh, please do, because obviously they're gonna have trouble with the roads uh, during the morning commute because uh, people don't understand that. The PennDOT vehicles, like the salt trucks and the plows, when they get stuck in morning traffic, they can't clear the roads because they're in traffic with everybody else. It's like, why didn't they clear the roads? They're in traffic. That's why they didn't clear the roads. 
right? So it's going to be coming down tomorrow morning for your uh, oh. Friday morning commute. What are you doing over there? I just tip my coffee over. <laughs> What you did? Did you spill on any equipment? Did you spill on any equipment? I, I, dude, I saw. I don't know if I've seen you move that fast in a long time, dude. All good, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. That was some paper towels. Yeah, it didn't make it to the buttons. Didn't make it to the buttons. No. Okay. Are we? Are we still doing the show? I can't like reflexes. <laughs> Moving quick. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, we haven't heard from in a while. Hmm. Our buddy Gio from Cleveland, who listens to the show. Salute to you, Gio. Uh, Gio works at a giant eagle in uh, Cleveland. I think he's usually in the lot, getting the carts, mm -hmm. listens to the show. Big fan of the show. Let's hear from Gio from Cleveland. Bob, he's got something about Avatar for you. Oh, okay. Uh, Bob, let me explain to everybody. Bob, uh, not a big fan of the... Uh, super famous director James Cameron. James Cameron sucks. Uh, thinks he's overrated. Avatar sucks. Yep. James Cameron treats Avatar like, like it's the Bible. Of, so like he's created this mythical, magical world. Yeah. And everybody's so happy and should be so blessed that James Cameron here is here to make new avatars for us. Right. James Cameron stinks. Okay, let's get to Geo. Hello there, Mikey and Bob. It's Geo from Cleveland. I was just going for Twitter and I, I just saw. They're coming out with a $9,000 Avatar statue. You see this thing? No. It's a real thing. Look it up right now. $9,000 Avatar statue. It's like a real thing that they're selling. A $9,000 Avatar statue. I am not joking. It's a real thing. Yeah. All I thought is, I have to tell Bob. Yeah, that that's right. This, yeah. It's real. Love the show, bye. Are, are you looking at it? Yeah. $9,000, right? Does that do anything, by the way? $9,000, I feel like it's oh, okay. nothing sexual. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're putting nine grand in. <laughs> that thing better do a lot. For me. Man, are we... Bro, today's not our day to lose this. Keep it up. $9,000, that thing better be doing anything I damn well want. Make love to the Avatar. <laughs> Blue person, I don't care, man. I paid nine grand for this. I'm going to take it out for a test drive. 96 Lincoln. Mikey and Bob podcast. Mikey and Bob, it is the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, you can get in touch with the show anytime, whether you're listening to the uh, show when it's live, 6 to 10 a.m., or if you're a Mikey and Bob podcast listener, hit the talkback microphone on the free iHeartRadio app, and you can send us a message. Let's get to this. Hey, Mikey and Bob, it's Andrew. With the Steelers losing and the playoff content drying up, yeah. I feel like it's time to get back to power rankings. Yeah. So I thought of one for you guys. Death Row Meals. Top five items that we would have on a death row meal. Oh, wow. It could be anything. It could come from a restaurant oh, or like a favorite family item. Let's hear it. All right. I got to, I got to, I can't do this one now. I got to think about this one. Is this tomorrow's show? It's a big list. So it's like, if you could have one meal, it's your final meal and you could only have five items. So you don't have to pick like a place like, oh, I want it from this place. Or that Wait, are place. we doing a top five? Yeah. Wait, I'm like, confused. Five, the five items that you would have as part of your final meal. So, yeah, I guess number one should be the best, but I don't think it really matters. I think these are just give me five items okay. that you would want. So they, they tell you you can pick your five favorite things like in the world and that as makes part of a death, meal. That makes your death row meal. Yeah. I mean, one of them's probably got to be a drink, though, right? You know what? You don't want to not have a drink, so I think you got to include that, right? Oh, that's you gotta a waste. Include, see, that's a waste. It, is it a waste, though? A waste. Or do you have, like, a drink that you would want as part of your mm. final meal? Hey, Turner's tea is raising her hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just no spoilers there, but Turner's tea is raising its hand Watch for me. Watch it down, Turner's. Uh, we'll get to that tomorrow on the show. If we could eat one meal, one final meal. What five items mm. would we want to uh, eat? Because that's, uh, that's a tough one. Also, we'll have some Facebook comments tomorrow. Because if you didn't hear Reba McIntyre singing the national anthem before the Super Bowl in Vegas, even though Reba is uh, a single mom who works too hard, I think she's overall loved, right? Yeah. She's universally yeah. loved. I feel uh, There's not a lot of people. It's Dolly Parton. It's Reba McIntyre. There's people that are universally loved. Mm -hmm. I think Reba is one of those, but. 
Tomorrow on the show around 7.40, we will read Super Bowl National Anthem Facebook comments. Because no, no one's safe from the Facebook comments section. Always Facebook comments are on the Super Bowl. Uh, also, tomorrow, uh, we'll have another chance for you to win $1,000 around 9, 10, and 12 more chances throughout the day for you to win $1,000. Try to pay your bills. Your next chance actually coming up in about 10 minutes during the Ryan Seacrest show. Uh, before we get out of here, Bob, what would you like to name the podcast today? Meep, meep, beep, beep, and bear, bear. Meep, meep, beep, beep, and bear, bear. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the name of the Mikey and Bob podcast. Get caught up with today's show. If you missed any of it on the free iHeartRadio app or wherever you're streaming your podcast. That's it for us. Talk to everybody tomorrow. Ryan Seacrest shows up right outside.